All right, we're gonna just walk through the process of uh, getting logged on for a group or an individual session on DHS telehealth. We're gonna do it by bringing up a new tab and then hopefully you all have bookmarked the site where you're the, the telehealth uh, provider or facilitator. And that will bring up the login page. Please use your um, Life Launch Center's uh, email address. That's the one that you used to create your state ID. Uh, if you use your ID number, it won't work. So make sure you use uh, your email. Then use your password you created when you did your ID and that should log you right into the waiting area. You'll notice off to the left there are waiting rooms. We're going to use the test waiting room, but be sure you're in the correct waiting room. Afternoon group, evening group, family group. Outpatient is for individual sessions. So we're going to go into the test waiting room to do this this uh, training. When we're in there, we're uh, now going to go over to the right and you'll notice that there is a URL and uh, at the right of that URL is a button. If you put your cursor on it, it says copy to clipboard. Click on that. You now have copied that URL. You're going to go back to your email. I'm going to send this to Arden and Joni for this session. Um, paste your uh, URL in there. Now, uh, for some reason, mine ends up putting these couple little dashes at the end, so you want to make sure those aren't there, otherwise it makes it an invalid uh, link, but uh, make sure you've got the right URL in there. Uh, that'll, that should have already gone out to your clients, but if you need to send that while you're even in the session, go ahead. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, go back to my waiting room. I've sent that out. And you'll notice uh, these boxes. Here's where we've been doing some trainings. Uh, when the people that you want in that session appear and are waiting, they will be, they will show up in uh, in green. These are blue and purple, but they will show up in green as soon as they do. Okay, now we have Joni. Here's Joni in the green. Click on her. Uh, we get the option to connect. Go ahead and hit that connect, and that's going to bring her onto the screen. You'll notice the little box there. Uh, now she's she's who I can see most of. Everybody uh, will see most of her. Now, in order to add somebody else, we're going to go off to the right here, and there's a little circle with a, a people icon in it and a plus sign. Click on that, then click on patience. Uh, you'll notice in here we have Arden that's in here. We're going to select him and hit invite. Now a little green box pops up and said uh, we had success inviting this patient to the call. Uh, click on that icon again, it goes away. And then you'll notice we now have Arden uh, has also joined us in the group. Uh, and you can switch back and forth to who uh, is uh, viewed on the large screen. Okay, so everybody has the option of clicking on whichever box they want to, to see best, you know, whichever one's uh, talking or, or whatever. So that's how you add uh, the next one. You would go right back to that uh, people icon with the plus sign, click on it, and then go to patients. Um, click on any patients that are in there with the name. Make sure they're the right name because if they're waiting for a different group, don't bring them into yours. Uh, but go ahead and click on, on uh, the, the patient you want to bring in and uh, then, then invite them and, and in they'll come. When you end the call, uh, you'll go ahead down here to the red button with the phone in it and that will end the call. You uh, have the option of being able to end for all. They have the option of leaving, um, but uh, since you're the facilitator, don't do that. Don't leave them all on a conference, video conferencing without any supervision. So hit end for all. Uh, that closes the whole program. And uh, at that point, you are done. So just in case uh, there's ever any questions later, this is me with glasses. This is me without. Me with glasses, me without. So on the day that I have to wear glasses permanently, 
you will still know that it's me. Thanks, guys. See ya.